Hey, what's up, to Biker40? This is uh, How You Go number three, I think. Not often sure. But uh, I've been getting uh, good feedback from you guys, so I appreciate that about these. Um, if I can do these on a weekly basis, that would be great, so I don't think about doing that. So uh, today's episode is going to be about your worst matchup and how to side against it. Uh, I've got this idea. I was watching, uh, I think that was uh, SimX Team Symmetry, his video. So that'll be in the description if you have not seen that video. It's actually really good. There's two parts of it. And um, I, I saw it was great. It was flawless. So I actually learned a lot from that video. So like I said, if you guys haven't seen that video, I highly suggest you watch it. And I'll watch this video after. So <clears throat> so like I said, this one's going to be pretty much just talking about your worst matchup and how to side against it. Um, it's really a lot of focusing on your side deck. For this episode, I'm going to use... Uh, the deck I'm using kind of now, so obviously I said for a lot of times using great keepers. So if you guys know great keepers, you know their flow, you know that their worst matchup by far is absolutely uh, Dark Worlds. Dark Worlds completely poop on this deck. It's ridiculous the fact that Grafla just pops any, uh, pretty much yeah, any card. So if anything, they don't need to waste resources on Necro Valley. They'll just play their gates. Grafla destroys a face down spy. It's just irritating, so, um, so like I said, Dark Worlds is by far the worst. Also, if you roll a tribute, that's, that's game, pretty much. So, um, excuse me. I follow a procedure that I was taught a long time ago about side decking. Um, it goes like this, if anything, on top of my head. Uh, you just side two cards for your worst matchup. Um, at least three cards for meta, say monsters, so say like, uh, Max C, Valor, Thunder King, uh, side in one card for a tier 1.5, so let's say for, like, a, let's say Giga, you know, side in, um, what's that called, uh, Nolman, like, like I do, uh, side in two generic monster destruction, so your Soul Taker, uh, one three is Spell Trap Negation, so, you know, you'll side in, uh, either three Decrees or three MSTs, you side in one three Effect Negation, people side in, uh, three Veilers, some people side in, three Skill Drain. And I say two cards of your choice, so it can be whatever. I follow that procedure because, I mean, it, it's pretty basic. It works. You got to think, because you only have 15 cards for your extra deck. You got to make every card count. So pretty much, I'm going to talk about, uh, for me, like I'm talking about just Strictly Great Keepers and Dark Worlds. The best card to side in, the card to take out, and the, uh, the card you want to hold off in your main deck that you should use. So... I pretty much took this apart, so um, I'm gonna go with the cards that you should side out instantly in Great Keepers. Uh, I like playing a pulse. I I haven't played a pulse, but I, I play two of it. Um, Road Tribute's obvious. Road Tribute. If you Road Tribute a uh, Dark World player, that is game. You might as well scoop your cards and write the loss. Uh, <laughs> you are pretty much making them plus so much. You are pretty much giving them a card destruction. Uh, every monster, obviously if you know Dark Worlds, will get an effect when it's to the graveyard. Um, World Tribute does exactly that. It's, it's ridiculous. You, not really much explanation needed there. Compulse is also horrible because you don't want your Great Keepers in the hand. When they play their dealings, they play, um, their drag down. Obviously they get effect off it, so it's best to side these cards out. But depending on your build, I'm just saying generically because obviously if you're playing Great Keepers, you can play the Road Tribute. And just generically you can play... Um, compulse, <coughs> excuse me, and um, in your build, you want to side these out. These are the worst cards ever. Now I'm gonna talk about cards that are in your um, your I guess your main deck that you should uh, keep in and hold off. MST, you want to get rid of the gates when you need be. Uh, most likely when it's uh, actually well, actually I'm not gonna say. It. I guess it's uh, personal preference, but I usually do it when it's just played. I don't want them to. Okay, use Gate's Effect, then I MST, because they still get their effects, say they discard a Snow or something. And um, definitely Bottomless, because Bottomless I save just for Grafa. Once they, well, once you get rid of Grafa, the deck is pretty much slow. Um, <clears throat> depending if they play Silva or Gold, um, Silva more likely, but then again, you can get rid of that pretty easy, get the Mirror Force, something like that. But uh, Grafa, that's just the most destructive card in the deck. You want to get rid of that with Bombless. Also, if you have Deep Prison, something like that, it's going to work. You just want to get it removed. That's the, I guess, the main point I want to get across. 
uh, definitely bottomless. It's your, it's your best bet in game one. So now I'm going to talk about cards you want to side in. You guys have probably seen this right here. But it's going to be definitely the Dimensional Fissure. Well, that, that's for me. Um, if you can play Dimensional Fissure or Macro Cosmo, there's no point bringing that out. Definitely play them if you can. Because this one calls for it. so many decks that rely on it. Uh, actually, so many decks that get hurt by it. Excuse me. And it's just good. Uh, Dushinado, just extra uh, destruction for gates. Because Dark Rose generally don't play a back row. Their back rows are consistent mostly of Reckless Greed and stuff like that. So, um, it, it's usually safe to attack if they have back row. They're mostly bluffs. Actually, I think the most destructive back row is probably Trench Road. Because I usually don't see Dark Rose players play, you know, um, Mirror Forces or Dimensional Prison and stuff like that. And, um... Obviously, the greatest cards against Dark World, aside from Dimensional Fissure, if you can't play it, is going to be um, Gemma Imps. Gemma Imps is beyond amazing. Uh, I can't I can't count how many times I won with Gemma Imps alone. It's a uh, very good. So when they play their, uh, excuse me, when they play their Drag Down, or also when they play their uh, what's that called? Um, I forget the name. Uh, Dark World Dealings. Wow. When they play Dark World Dealings, you discard this and you draw a card. So they go minus. They saw the card, so Gem is actually very good. Uh, also, another card that uh, people sometimes decide against it. I used to decide against it for Dark World, but then I had to smack myself. I'm like it's not really good. Was uh, Steel from Roach? Steel from Roach. It's a. Uh, I I'm I'm on top of this now because obviously it just got uh, reprinted. But like it's a good card. But you gotta think about it. Yes, it stops the graph negation. But they, then again, if they play uh, dealings or. Um, See, I keep forgetting the words. If they're getting dealings or drag down and they discard a graffa, um, they can pop this. So it's, you know, it's really bad. So definitely, like I said, I, I wouldn't side this in. You know, it's, it's a so so card. So yeah, I mean, there you go. <laughs> so I guess that's a really short video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something from this. Like I said, uh, I got this idea from watching Slim X Team Symmetry's video. His video will be in the description or in the annotations if you guys are lazy i don't know <laughs> but uh like i said hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh i think that's it so yeah back to 40 sign out peace